beautiful people. So, today we are going to attempt to do a full room tour and try to keep it under a decent amount of time. So, last year I did do a room tour. I was not able to do a full room tour because then my editing software wasn't that great camera all that good stuff wasn't that great so this year i have some great editing tools a little bit more resources and i even added some stuff to the room so i wanted to share it with you guys right here is my um beautiful um painting over here i have my jury sitting on top my jury box that's on top there's coffee drops right here i don't know why that's there but it's there so in this particular um thing and like lately i'm so guilty i haven't really been wearing jewelry a lot because of work or whatever but i just have all my jewelry in here this is a picture of my mother in here my birth mother and you know jewelry just have jewelry in it i need to actually go there um in here i actually like this because it has the glass covered part and i have like some of my favorite jewelry in here that i like to look at some of this stuff i ain't ever wore, wore before but we're not even gonna talk about that um these are the ipsy um i guess cards that they put when you get your ipsy bag i'm kind of collecting these because i want to make a collage with them hopefully soon so that's why i have those in here so that's that have this little pretty stand with a really nice necklace on it this is some jewelry in here that was lazy through in here real quick um these are like some of my studs i actually got this container from Goodwill and I use it to separate my studs because I have a lot of studs and they kept getting getting mixed up in my regular jewelry box. Um, here's some more jewelry, necklaces, all that stuff. Um, this probably has like one of my, my opal necklace and the receipts for it. I keep track of all that stuff. So that's um, in these drawers are is some makeup. I organized a little bit better from the last time. So in here the makeup is pretty much kind of separated by like color groups so i have like like in here it's like yellows and golds in here blues and purples in here there's pinks and eye dusts in here and then these are just separated by like the brand and stuff like that i really like drugstore eyeshadows especially the wet and wild eyeshadows those are like my favorite eyeshadows um yeah, I have a, quite a bit of colors. I have NYX in here. And, yep. And some of the NYX palettes in here as well. Next door to that. Oh, and this case. I just got this case in the mail today for my um, iPhone 6. I got this off of, don't tell nobody. I got this off of eBay. I got this, yeah, I got this off of eBay for 5 bucks. There's a boutique that was selling the same case for like 20 So I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and order that. So underneath the next drawer, there's a little bit of makeup in here. These are, the stuff that's pretty much in the drawer is probably stuff that I'm not like really using. Like it's kind of in the side when I get ready to start using again. But in here, it's just blushes and highlights and all that stuff are kind of thrown in here. Um, there's some setting powders in here. Uh, some of my foundations. I probably need to go through this and pull out some foundations that I haven't used in a while and start using them again. And these are like bronzers in here and all that great stuff. Underneath is like my backup container. So here I have like extra eyelashes in here. These eyelashes, like I don't know, I'll probably need to give them to somebody because lately I've been on this no eyelash kit. I haven't worn eyelashes in forever. Um, there's some foot stuff in here, the X, my extra eyebrow razors, have my extra makeup removers in here, this is some foot cleaning stuff in here, um, my curlers, the only reason I have this, these curlers, y'all know I don't use curler, um, I don't flat iron my natural hair, but I have this for, um, my wig that Anna Hair UK, um, Anna Hair UK sent me, and, yeah, I'll probably link that video below so you guys can see it, but, yeah, I use that on my, um, I haven't, the stuff that, that's in this drawer is pretty much stuff that I'm not using right now, so I just store it in the drawers. This particular drawer, I actually, um, I actually found this drawer on the curb side, and it's a pretty, it's a nice drawer, like, it's made out of solid wood, it's not fake wood. I'm so, I told myself I was gonna paint this thing 
freaking black like forever ago and I still haven't did it so hopefully soon our, I will do that. Here I have these three beautiful bookshelves. I got these bookshelves from Goodwill. They were five dollars each. Yes, they were five dollars each. So when I got them they were actually like a tan color and I actually spray painted them black so that I could put my makeup and have a little pretty background in the back for you guys to see when I record. I have this is what herbal transdermal botanical makeup remover. I actually really like this. Um, I was sent this. This is a sample size, but I was sent this to review. This is like a uh, what is this? This is a wash that came with perfume that my husband gave me. I don't wear white watches like I just tacky, but I keep it there because it's pretty in the container. He gets upset because I don't even wear this watch. I have nail polish remover. I don't even know why I have nail polish remover because I always. Um, you know, get my nails done. I don't ever paint my nails myself, but whatever. In this drawer, it's just, you know, my lipsticks. I have Jordana lipsticks in here. Um, CoverGirl Queen Collection regular CoverGirl lipsticks. And some Maybelline lipsticks in here. I have Revlon lipsticks. Revlon is probably the first brand lipsticks that I started wearing. So, yeah, so I have some of those in there. Um, it's like a mixture of stuff in here. This looks like some more mixture of stuff. Some more lipsticks. Some more lipsticks. Uh, here I got some lid pencils and some, what is this? Um, gel line and containers in here. On top of here I have some loose eyeshadows on top of here. Um, in this container I have looks like all my mascaras and stuff in here some more loose eyeshadows that are in there I have in here I have like my lip glosses um, one of my favorites is the Revlon HD lip gloss these are really nice um, what else in here yeah some of them are like off-brand I really like these, the Jordana, I don't know, I guess this is a chapstick, I don't know, but it's kind of like a lip tint. Those are really nice. Has some um, blush sticks in here. These are from Métis NYC and then Maybelline. I have some more lip glosses in here. Some of these I haven't even opened yet. And have some eyeshadow bases. These are color tattoos. This is Max. Um, what is this called? Dangerous Cuvée, whatever that's in there. And at the bottom looks like some more lip glosses. This lip gloss with the L'Oreal lip gloss 2-in-1. I don't know what this is called, but this lip gloss is horrible. This thing dries. It does crazy stuff to my lips. I don't really like it all that much. Okay, next to that... I have some more of my lipsticks. So these are lipsticks um, in the front. These are my MAC lipsticks. So I actually keep these all together. I used to put these in the container, but I actually pull them out because they just look pretty. Um, these behind it are some more lipsticks. These are pretty much like all of my really, really favorite lipsticks that I grab for quite a bit and lip glosses. So like this is normally a lip gloss that I just throw in my purse real quick. Um, or they're like lip glosses that I haven't tried yet and I want to give it a try. They're new and I just leave them here so I can grab them real fast. Um, this is a, one of my favorite lipsticks. It is called Lust for Blush. It's Maybelline's Matte Lipstick. That is my all-time favorite. Another all-time favorite is Lavender Lady by Jordana. As you guys know, I think I've talked about this lipstick before. Um, it's like a lavender lipstick. I absolutely love this lipstick. And some new lipsticks I picked up are Wet n Wild lipsticks. I think these are probably like stuff they pulled out for the summertime slash spring. So this first one is called Purdy Pers Persimmon. And this is like a bright orangey red lipstick. I really like this lipstick. And then this next one is a pink one. And it's called Don't Blink Pink. And it's pretty much like a bright 
um, fuchsia pink. I don't know why I bought this. I have like so many fuchsia pink lipsticks, but whatever. It's just another thing added to my collection. Um, there's my deodorant. I don't know why that's in here because normally I leave that in the bathroom. Um, next to that, these are all my nail polishes. I probably should go through this because a lot of these I have not worn in forever or even pulled out in forever. Um, some of the stuff that's like sitting out is like stuff that I want to take to the nail salon with me and use. Um, yeah, one of the colors that I've wore recently and I really like is called, what's it called? Trendy. It is a Revlon nail polish and I really next to that I have my perfume really picky about perfume so if it's not anything that um, some of these are like gifts but normally when I buy perfumes like that I like the floral um, scent I don't like sweet smelling perfume and I don't like strong like manly smelling i don't know like i'm really particular but yeah these are all my perfumes all-time favorite and i need to find somebody that sells this is almost gone is the what is it baby fat goddess that is my absolute favorite so uh yeah i probably need to go to like the outlet so i can get more of that um uh, happens to all my magazines i only have more magazines than this but i just put my magazines there and there's some extra cotton swabs and all that stuff there um below that there are some palettes in here, I have the Vice palette, the 120 um, color BH Cosmetics palette. Um, underneath that, there's some more palettes. There's my old cell phone. I don't know why that's there, but it, whatever. Um, NYX, not NYX, ELF palette. I have some LA Jewel palettes. It's just some various different palettes here that don't really use like that oh this is what happened to the magazines they fell so yeah i just put all my magazines there in this first one i have this caddy right here and it has all of my face primers um these ones i probably haven't really been using lately so that's why they're kind of on the side right here Underneath that are blushes. These are the blushes I pretty much have been going to for the summertime. Yeah, so I have all these right here. Or they're like new stuff that I need to give a try. Underneath that, this is like kind of a random container. There's like colored um, liner in here and concealer, pal elf concealer powder. It's kind of a random container. Um, next to that, I have all of my face powders. In this container, um, I reach for these pretty frequently, so that's why these are here. Next to that, these are some more foundations. These are pretty much the foundations I've been reaching for for this summer. Um, my favorites right now are I really like um, what is this called? Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour. I really like that. It's really been humid and sweaty lately, so I've been needing that. Next to that, it's just some random stuff. There's some empty makeup bags in here. Um, some more nail polish that I probably need to give away. My selfie stick. I'm actually sad because I actually broke the freaking screen. The spring on here, trying to put my big behind 6 plus on there. Um, and then I have another makeup bag. Next to that is some hair stuff. So I have my wig sitting on top of here and there's some hair stuff in there and some more hair stuff, makeup bags in here, some more hair stuff. And these are some of my head wraps that are in here that I wear pretty regularly. So I throw them in there. Um, that's that. Okay. So. Over here is my beautiful makeup table. Yes, this is a picnic table or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I like this table because I can move it around, I can fold it up, and it makes my room trend makes it to where I can transition on my room. I can move stuff around, all that good stuff. So that's why I like this table. Um, on this table, I actually just got finished recording a video for you guys, a couple videos. For you guys today, not a couple, like two videos for you guys today. So you guys will see that. Um, there's actually my iPad. I recorded anytime I want to hurry up and edit a video real quick, fast in a hurry. I actually use my iPad to do it, and I think the video just uploaded. So you guys will see that soon. And then 
what else um on here it's just makeup that i was just using some random stuff my phone um hair stuff i have um, normally my hair stuff is on the right hand side so i have like some of the stuff that i probably used just then when i was in the tutorial my brushes um this is my ipsy bag that i got for june this is actually a really nice ipsy bag i like this one um and this container just some random stuff some more random stuff that i've been reaching for a lot lately some more random stuff in here like lipsticks that i've been reaching for um behind here is actually a tv so normally what i do when i'm recording i will link my hdmi to my tv from my tv to my camera so that i can see the few, full view of what i'm recording i'm actually kind of sad right now because they blew the, the tv blew a fuse so i either need to buy a new tv or just order a new power supply for it um power supply is like 30 bucks if I order the power supply, if I order to get, by, get by a new TV, they're about the same size. It's probably like 100 bucks. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. But yeah. Um, I have my tripod right here. This one is actually holding a different type of stand. This stand is for my iPad. And I have another. Um, oh, or I can actually take this off and just put my regular camera on, which is what I'm using right now to record this. And then I have my lovely lighting. So this lighting I actually got from Amazon and it's a three point lighting system. So it came with this one and then there's that one right here. And then I have this one right here, but I don't really use that one too often. Um, these actually go a little bit higher so they can actually go like even, they're probably about as tall as me if I lift them up all the way. But yeah, I really like these lighting and it was very affordable and the bulbs, I mean, if they blow out, these are just, these are, just bulbs you can purchase from Walmart, those bright bulbs. So it's actually affordable, affordable, and it's not irritating to get. And behind me, I have my green screen that I use. I haven't been using it lately. I'm still in the process of trying to get down lighting. I'm not really good when it comes to lighting. My um, let me drop it. But I'm not really good at when it comes to lighting my videos. So I'm trying to get better at that so bear with me on that one i hope to be using my green screen a lot more because i actually use it on my my i my imac computer um in the corner over there i just have my train kit i have another tripod it's a smaller tripod that i have and that is pretty much it i didn't want this video to be way too long um i hope to make a video soon about you know some of my video setup and how I do all of that I think that would be pretty helpful to you guys but yeah that's pretty much it so do not forget to rate comment and subscribe follow me on Instagram and on Twitter Brown Beauty 808 and I will see you guys soon talk to you later bye bye